Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you very much. Thank you.
morning, everyone. As Dr. Sanford said, my name is Mike Montes. I'm from El Paso. Um, I would like to first and foremost thank you all for your service, your dedication, and contributions to this country are truly appreciated. Secondly, graduates, congratulations on this great accomplishment. This is truly something to be proud of, and I hope that your future is filled with many more success stories. I am humbled to have the opportunity to speak with you all, speak to you all, my fellow veterans and graduates, as well as friends and family. This is an absolutely remarkable experience. Uh, Dr. Sanborn has provided a bit of backstory, but to reiterate, I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas, home to Fort Bliss, um, which is also currently home to the 1st AD, 1st Armored, Armored Division. I enlisted in the United States Army, again with the consent of my mother at the age of 17. I was still in high school, so she had to, she had to sign up for me. Um, I didn't have a clue as to what I was gonna do after I graduated high school, um, not one. Uh, I don't come from a, mil a military family, so I didn't have that influence um, when I made that decision. Uh, but I did find the idea of traveling the world appealing. Um, this seemed like something that I'd like to do, getting out of El Paso, uh, plus the commercials. I don't know if that's what pulled you all in, but they look pretty cool. Um, we're traveling out of a helicopter on white sandy beaches. I thought it was pretty, pretty nice, um, but it didn't take long to figure out that that's not, that's not what it was all about. <laughs> that, that's no um, so we did travel, but it wasn't the type of travel that I envisioned. All work and no play, um, but we wouldn't have it any other way. So I graduated from boot camp just shy of 9-11. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but I was about to embark on a pivotal moment in my military career and life in general. Um, again, I didn't, I didn't know it at the time, but the decision to join the service will rank among one of the best decisions I've made in my life. The experiences I had, the friendships I made, the growing up that I did, helped to mold me into the person that I am today. Among other, among other things, the military instilled discipline, which means little unless you're receptive to it. Much like, all, much like all things in life, we get what we put into it. I'd be lying if I stood up here and said that from day one, I was all in. It wasn't the case. It took some time to adjust to the military life and the culture, but eventually I did, and it set me up for success. I ended up linking up with the Army Reserves for the tail end of my career, as at the time I was doing my options. Should I finish out my contract and focus solely on my education, or continue my military career and see where it takes me? I ultimately decided to focus on school and was honorably discharged from service in 2013. I proceeded to complete my associate degree in psychology, as well as a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Texas at El Paso. The experiences I had while in the military, particularly, particularly during the deployments, and post-deployment played a critical role in why I gravitated towards the social services. Selfishly, I chose to major in psychology to figure out what was wrong with me. Why was my behavior so out of character? Why were things, such simple things such as going out to eat at a restaurant or grocery shopping seemingly insurmountable tasks? Eventually, I found my way to the local VA and received the treatment I needed so that I may push on in life. These experiences helped me to guide me towards a path of way, wanting to help others wanting to make a difference in the lives of others who may be struggling in some way. So, why OLLU, Our Lady of the Lake? I ultimately decided to pursue a master's degree in social work from Our Lady of the Lake University as the program offered the flexibility that I needed in order to be able to balance my personal life, work, and school. The academic programs are built on spiritual values and ethics with an emphasis on service and leadership. Being prior service, this is something that was important to me as I feel people are able to grow the most in an environment filled with individuals that hold like-minded values. Being a student veteran, there was some hesitation on my part to enroll as I have had some unfavorable experiences in the past. The selling point though was that the university um, does honor and offer a large number of benefits and scholarships to student veterans, as well as access to a VA counselor who can help guide you through the process of enrollment and set you on a path to success. Along with enrolling in a master's program, I had the added pressure of being a veteran and the first of my siblings to pursue this type of degree. This, in addition to online coursework, was something very new to me, and I often found myself questioning my ability to complete the program successfully. I was able to find the motivation to persevere within my beautiful wife and amazing children. Also, the level of support given by the SBA <coughs> to both on-campus and online students was phenomenal. This type of support for veterans, by veterans, was like unlike anything I had experienced in my collegiate career this, thus far. I was blown away by how active Dr. Sanborn and SVA President Jorge Navarrete were. Always checking in on the vets, provided volunteer opportunities, and a fully stocked lounge where vets on campus were able to go to decompress. This type of passion and care and concern expressed the 
something that most definitely carried over from the military service and a genuine interest in the well-being of others, which allowed for a less stressful academic journey. Just knowing that the type of support was out there for us acted like a security blanket, and for that, I am thankful. I am proud and privileged to have had the opportunity to serve this great country in both in time of peace and time of war. Let us not forget those who never made it home and, and made the ultimate sacrifice so that we are afforded the opportunities that we have today. Thank you all. We will never forget. So now I will close with, with a quote from J.P. Morgan. The first step towards getting somewhere is to decide you're not going to stay where you are. Get out there, keep pushing forward, keep, keep hitting those targets, and leave your mark on the world. Thank you all. Challenge coin is a specially designed coin that is given to someone to confirm membership in an organization or group and to honor a person for a special achievement. As a yellow ribbon campus, our Lady Lake University takes great pride in knowing that we serve our own family members who are both active and former members of the Armed Forces. In honoring the Challenge Coin tradition and your accomplishments, OLU has designed its own military recognition coin to commemorate both your military service and academic achievement. On one side of the coin being presented to you today, an eagle and the United States flag are depicted to represent your service to our country and to salute you as an honored member of the Armed Forces. The university's core value of community, integrity, trust, and service are also inscribed on this side of the coin. On the other side, the OLU logo is depicted. Higher education, higher purpose also is inscribed on the coin. Both the inscribed university core values and purpose are inspired by our Catholic values and the heritage of the founding congregation of divine providence. We hope that this coin is a reminder of the values you take forward as you begin a new journey with faith and wisdom to improve our world. So in the military, coins have a special value. Branch coins, unit coins, deployment coins are distributed to show who you are, what you are, where you are or were, and what you have done and accomplished. And in this keeping, these veterans graduating today have earned and will receive the Olu Challenge coin. First though, Father Kevin Faust will bless the coins. Father Kevin. Provident God, we ask your blessing upon these coins. We ask, Lord, that those who look upon them might be reminded of the sacrifice and the work that they have done to bring this to completion. May we always be reminded of the Olu and the family that they have here and their membership here as veterans and as students. And we ask your blessing, Lord, in a special way upon those who will receive them, that as you have stirred up within their hearts a gift of service, service to our country, service to their fellow man, that they might continue to serve, to love, and to use all that they have been given here for the building up of the human family. May we always live in peace, goodwill, and love with one another. And may Almighty God bless these coins and all our veterans, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Ashley Hogan, U.S. Army National Guard, MSW. Walking up here, I just want to say that there are more veterans, student veterans, in the Word of School than in any other program on campus. So U.S. Army, MSW. U.S. Army, BSW. I said the point for Shillette. So, is there anyone else, any other vets that I didn't reach, I didn't hear from, who would want to be honored? Okay. Well, congratulations, veterans, for graduating. And thank you ever so much for raising your right hand. I was talking to Chief Zartiche and the President yesterday, it was 40 years ago next week when I was in MEPS in San Antonio. 
It's like where did my life go? Thank you. 